Hey guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another video and today we're going to be talking about making G Fuel with a soda stream. So my wife got me this soda stream for Christmas and I'm super happy with it. It's really easy to use and I wanted to kind of show you guys because I did have some like hiccups in the beginning where it was kind of coming out at the top and I wasn't able to figure out what it was and then I figured out it's just the way I'm positioning it. So it's pretty much just a common soda stream error. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing because it's pretty much carbonating any G Fuel flavor that I have. I do still buy some of the G Fuel cans, but for me, some of the cans taste different than the powders and some of the powders I like a little bit more than the cans. So I'm able to make pretty much any flavor into a carbonated drink. And of course, some flavors don't even have a can such as pink grapefruit, which we're going to be making today. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it and what I think of it. So to start off, the first thing you, of course, will need is water. You can use whatever G Fuel you want. For me, I'm going to be using pink grapefruit. This is probably one of my favorite ones carbonated. You have your soda stream, which is back here. And of course your soda stream bottle because you actually need to use their bottle when carbonating. And this is optional, but I have a shaker cup just because I put it back in there. I don't like carrying that around because it's kind of big. And especially if I'm streaming or something like that, I don't need something big in the way. I just put it back in here. So step one is just going to be, you know, making G Fuel the way you usually would, which is just your water and your shaker cup, shake it up. You can even put it in the soda stream bottle as long as you can mix it up. Of course, you'll put your powder in here. And like I said, we'll be using pink grapefruit for today. We'll give it a couple shakes here. And there you go. We pretty much just have our regular G Fuel right here. And now we're going to put it in the soda stream. So from here, I pretty much just pour it here into the soda stream bottle. Easy as that. The mouth of the shaker cups for G Fuel actually fit perfect for the soda stream. You just dump it all in there. Now, getting a closer look at the soda stream here, what I was having issues with at first is I didn't realize the bottle doesn't always make the perfect seal on this gasket. So you really need to look under and make sure you seal it in there. So what you'll do, you'll get your bottle. And then you'll just make sure you put the little funnel in there and that it's perfectly in. Once you do that, you push it in, make sure that it is nice and locked in. It's not coming out. So the soda stream that my wife got me here has three different levels of carbonation. You can just have a little bit somewhere in the middle here or McDonald's Sprite level. I usually prefer to have it on two. So what you do is you hit it once and then you hit it one more time and it starts to carbonate for you. Now, once you hear the hiss from the bottle, you're going to want to leave it here for a few seconds. And that's just because if you pull it out really quickly, it's going to start to overflow. And I've had it happen a couple times. So just let it sit here for a little bit. Whenever you pull it out, you should be good to go. Once you pour it back in here, you're pretty much set to go. And one thing I've noticed is it really doesn't have much powder at the end anymore. It's just kind of like all the carbonation in there. So it gets rid of most of the powder too. I don't have any of the chalkiness of it or anything like that. And then just make sure you don't shake your G Fuel. Sometimes I do it out of habit and the lid just like pops off. So make sure you don't do that, especially if you're doing number three right there. You really don't want to do that. Hey, but that's it. Just wanted to show you guys how to use a soda stream for G Fuel. I think it's amazing. I'm super happy with this and it makes any of my G Fuel flavors that much better. Hey, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all next time.